Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipes. I am Vaishali and today I will be showing you how to make Pav Bhaji. Pav Bhaji is India's famous street food. It's a combination of many veggies. So let's see what all the ingredients we need to make Pav Bhaji. Potato, around half kg, cut into pieces like this. It's peeled and cut into pieces. Cauliflower, washed and cut into pieces. It's around 250 grams or a small floret. Cabbage, around 200 grams, chopped. Tomato, around 3 numbers, medium size or 250 grams. One green capsicum, cut into bite size pieces. Peas, around half cup. I'm using frozen peas, you can use fresh peas as well. Two medium sized onions, finely chopped. Ginger garlic paste, about one and half tablespoon. Oil, two tablespoon. Butter, as per requirement. Red chili powder, as per your taste. Salt, as per your taste. And pav bhaji masala, about two tablespoon. And of course, pav to enjoy this yummy pav bhaji. In this combination, you can add some carrots as well. It will sweeten the taste of this pav bhaji. But uh, personally, I don't like it, so I'm not using it today. Now let's start with the recipe. First we need to steam this potato, cauliflower and cabbage. We can steam it separately or we can combine it and steam it. Now I am going to pressure cook it for 3 to 4 vessels in a pressure cooker. Now these vegetables are steamed properly. You can check with the potato piece. It should be very soft to press. Now let's make pav bhaji. Add oil to the pan. Along with oil, you can add a little bit of butter to give that typical taste of pav bhaji. Once this oil is hot, add onions. Let the onions turn golden brown. Now these onions are slightly brown. Add ginger garlic paste to it. Let it cook for one or two minutes. Now this ginger garlic paste is done. Now add tomatoes. Cook the tomato till it is completely soft. Now these tomatoes are completely soft. You cannot see the pieces of tomatoes. It's all pureed now. Now add the spices, red chilli powder, salt and pav bhaji masala all together. Let it cook for one minute. Now add the capsicum, 
now add capsicum we don't need to cook this capsicum because we need to maintain its crunchiness add peas as we are using frozen peas so we don't need to add, cook them also now we are going to add this steamed vegetables this is already very soft you can just press it with a power bhaji presser or the let it cook for one or two minutes now this bhaji is almost ready we need to add chunk of butter on top that is the key ingredient of pav bhaji now this bhaji is ready now let's prepare pav this for preparing pav the tawa is heating now just split the pav into two apply some butter inside on both the sides application of butter depends on you and just roast it apply little butter on the top roast the pav from both the sides now this pav is ready now this pav is ready now let's serve the bhaji here pav bhaji is ready now garnish it with little bit of onions on top and a piece of lemon enjoy this yummy pav bhaji with your family and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching this video for more recipes keep on watching world of recipes thank you